a review and a quick tutorial of Zyro, the website builder. Hi guys, it's Sam Day here from daytips.com and this video is kindly sponsored by Zyro. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring this video and I'm going to take some time to kind of show you guys how you can use Zyro and the different features of their website. They are basically a website building platform where you can kind of quickly and easily create a website for your business or any other purpose really and they even have a free plan for you to go and test it out and just see what it's all about and see whether or not it's a good fit for you and your project. So as you can see, I'm actually on Zyro's website now. And as I mentioned, their plan starts from $0 a month. So you can literally get set up, have a play about with Zyro, which is what I recommend that you do. I'll leave a link in the description down below and you can kind of see whether or not it fits your needs. So their second basic plan starts from $1.99. So this is a deal they're having at the moment. Um, but even when they're not having the deal, it starts from $2.99. So it's very affordable for you to really get started. Um, and you can see their, their biggest plan goes up to $3.49 and $4.99 and $4 when it's not on the deal again, which is really great pricing uh, per month to be play paying for a website. When you compare that to some of the other competitors in the market, this is really, really good here. So um, you can kind of look down and see some of the different elements you get when you do upgrade your account. So you can connect your domain when you don't have your free account. So this is very similar to, again, some of the other competitors or options that there are on the market. Um, and there's some other features as well that you might really want to have a part of your website and you need to upgrade to get those. So depending on what you want your website to have, I highly recommend kind of going through the different pricing and seeing which one will kind of best suit your needs. So let's go on and look at some of the features that they have on their website. So as a marketing guy, one of my major features that I really like about Zyro is this heat map feature here. So as you can see from some of their examples, this will give you a heat map of your website and it basically shows you the popular uh, kind of sections of your website. What's the popular section? Where are people clicking? Where, where's people's, people's attention going to on your website? So you can use this information to kind of really uh, kind of increase the conversions and how many website visitors turn into leads, sales, customers for you. And they make it really easy for you with their AI heat map kind of uh, integration. So as you can see in their example here, you have a lot of people kind of clicking on this book button here and you know, you also have a lot of people kind of hovering over this accommodation button and a lot of people coming over here to this particular pillow. So maybe they're thinking that's some sort of button and it's going to take them somewhere. So you might even notice when you're checking the heat map for your Zyro website that there's a particular point in your website that people are trying to click or a lot of people are gravitating to, but there's no button. So you can actually include a button in that particular spot. Maybe that's a, a spot that people's eyes just gravitate to. And if there wasn't a button there previously and you add one, that can increase the amount of clicks that kind of take people to your checkout page and that can really help you to convert for you. So again, as a marketing guy, if you're using Zyro for business purposes, then the heat map kind of functionality could be something that really persuades you to go with their product. So they also have um, an AI generator. Now, if you've watched my YouTube videos, you'll know the importance of writing compelling copy for your website. So copy is basically just words uh, and phrases that you use on your website to kind of entice people to read more. And if you're not great at reading copy, if you haven't got someone to write copy for you or write copy in general for your website, then this can help you to really generate some ideas. So I'm gonna show you how this works here. Um, I'm going to search by category. And let's say, for example, you are a restaurant, uh, restaurant and food I can select, and then I can go to continue. Then I can choose what type of restaurant I am, and I'm going to select a bar for example purposes, and then continue again. And then it will start giving me some results. So result number one, we are a small chain that has been in business for over 24 years. We serve our cocktails and wine, wine pairings and 
and have a really nice and warm atmosphere. So as you can see, it kind of gives you content that you can use on your website. So if you're struggling for content, even if you're not using Zyro, this might be a really great thing to come here and just and use and kind of just see if you can add any of that content to whatever projects you're doing. If you're struggling for ideas in terms of how to write copy or content for your website. And obviously you can change some of the verbiage to fit your particular business, but this might give you a really good jump start in terms of getting the creative juices flowing to write in content and copy for your website. So I really like this feature, this AI, AI writer that they've got here. Um, again, if you're struggling for content ideas, then this is a great, feature that you can utilize. Now they also have a free logo maker as well. Now I know a lot of websites that do logo makers and they don't do a really great job of it, but I kind of like this one in Zyro. And if you're kind of thinking about creating a logo for your website, then this might be something you try at least um, before you go off and try and get a designer. This might be something you try. Maybe you even send this particular logo that you create in Zyro to a professional designer and kind of you can give them an idea of where it is you're trying to create here so i'm going to show you how their one works so they have loads of different shapes uh, that you can choose from and then they have your kind of company you put your company name and you can also add a tagline if you want as well and you can also change the layout here so they've got the default welcome with a default shape and um, if i click layout then it kind of changes how it's laid out um, and I can also change what shape it is as well. So let's say, for example, um, I was a bar. Maybe I wanted to have uh, drinks here instead of this uh, little block. Then I simply type in drinks and it shows me different beverages that I can have. So I can click on this one, for example, a little cocktail. And let's say I am, uh, let's say Sam, Sam's bar. So all of a sudden I have a logo there for me um, and then I can add a tagline, the place to be. So all of a sudden I have a logo and again, you know, I can actually use that to send to a graphic designer or you might want to keep that. Um, you might want to change the color as well to whatever color scheme you have for your particular business. So you can um, change the color of the icon and also of your text as well um accordingly so that's something that you might want to play about with if you haven't got a logo yet for your website and you're looking for a cheap way to create a logo then this can be something for you um you know again you can change your font you can change the size you know you can uh, add bolds and, and italicize and underline if you need to and then when you're ready you can download your logo so let's go into uh, kind of some of the other features that we maybe have not gone over yet so they also have customization features with regards to their images. Um, they also have pixel perfection. So you can kind of see how they're kind of putting a lot of effort in the images that you upload to your website. And images are really important. They are, they are a really important way to kind of capture the attention of your website visitors. Um, and one of the things that I really like about their website is that it for, it's fast loading on all devices. So they try to make their websites as quick as possible, but they also try to optimize their websites as well for different viewings. So if, if someone's viewing your website from a mobile device, a tablet device, or a desktop device, then it will adjust their experience of your website accordingly. So this is really important for things such as search engine optimization and just user experience in general. Um, and that's something that these guys have considered, which is great as well. So um, another thing I want to look at is some of their website templates. So if you go to their website and you click on templates, it will show you some of the different templates that they have available that you can kind of edit and make your own. So you can see the vast array of different templates here um, and then you can literally you can preview it so if you previewed it it will show you how that template looks maybe help you to gather some ideas about what you might want to add on your website and if a template looks like something that you can work with then you can simply click on start building and it will take you to their editor so i'm going to quickly show you a couple of features within their editor um, and show you how kind of easy it is to edit within the Zyro editor. Now this Zyro editor is very similar to a lot of the different platforms out there when it comes to creating 
your own website it's very simple it's literally drag and drop so you can uh, click on any element and when you double click on it you can change what this says so if i wanted this to say uh sam then i can change that to say sam and all of the different options come up here for me to edit this text so i can um, edit how big that text is i can edit the color um, i can make it bold italicize it underline it um, i can change the alignment i can add a, a link to it and make this an anchor text um, and you know there's loads of different um, things i can do to it i can make it uppercase lowercase or title case so that's how easy it is to kind of change text that's already here. If I didn't want this text here, then I can just click on it once and I can choose to delete it and get rid of it. Um, if I wanted to copy text, again, just click on the text and I click this particular one here and you can see it duplicates that text for me. Um, and another thing is on any element that you click on. So this is an image element. If I click on that, it gives me those options to edit, to copy and to delete. So if I wanted to edit an image, then I can replace this with my own image. So maybe I wanted my own logo here. And it also has SEO options available for you as well. That is really important if you want to be seen in the major search engines such as Google, Yahoo and Bing. So you can also add elements to your website by coming up here to add element and you can literally drag and drop whatever element you wanted. So if you wanted a button, you can just drag that onto your website and you can choose where you want this button to be. Um, you can edit that button as well similarly and you can add whatever it is. So you can link to a URL and put your the URL that you want to link to there. You can link to another page on your website and you can also change the layout of this button as well. So you can change the alignment um, and you can change the text where it kind of positions itself on the button itself. So that's fairly simple and straightforward. You can also edit the entire section. So this is a section, for example, with the image in the background. And as I scroll down, then this is a new section um, and you can add sections in between as well. Um, so in between every section, it has this little add section uh, kind of option here. And if you click on that, then you can add a section. So it has different templates that you can add sections um, kind of automatically or you can add a blank section here and kind of make it your own so going back to editing a section whatever section you're in you should see this edit section button at the top right hand corner um, it should be on any section that you you see so let's go back up here click on edit section and you can edit this particular layout. So you can enable grid gaps if you like to. You can add or remove top or the bottom padding. So as you can see, as I start to make those adjustments, the, the padding starts to move accordingly. And you can also change your background. Maybe you wanted this to be an image of you or something else. You can literally replace the image um, in inside here and you can upload your own images that you want to upload um, to your website. So you can also see how your website looks on desktop, on desktop or in mobile view as well. So this gives you a good understanding of how your website is going to look on a mobile device. So you might want to make relevant changes to your, your elements uh, so that it shows up in the way that you want your website to show up. And you can also preview your website as well by clicking on this little preview button and seeing how it will look on a desktop device. So if I um, go back to my editor, this also, it says page, this also allows you to see what page you're editing. So we're currently editing the home page, but you can come down here and add a new page. So if I, if I add a blank page and all I have to do is make sure I'm actually in the new page and I can start editing that particular page and add in different sections and add in different elements um, and so on and so forth and really making this website my own. So if you want a, a more in-depth tutorial on Zyro, then do let me know by leaving a comment in the comment section down below. If you have decided to go with Zyro, again, let me know uh, because I may be doing further partnerships with them. Maybe we'll do an SEO tutorial on how you can rank your Zyro website 
in the major search engines such as Google, Yahoo and Bing and maybe also videos on how you can propel your marketing for that to help you increase traffic, leads and sales. But in the meantime, I do have the formula for you guys. It's absolutely free. A copy of it is behind me. I'll also leave a copy of it in the description down below and somewhere on this screen. If you haven't downloaded it already, this is the free guide to generating leads and sales online for your business. It's going to teach you how to drive traffic to your website and how to convert that traffic into tangible leads and sales to help you create a profitable business. So once you have your website sorted, you actually need to drive visitors and you actually need to understand the mechanics behind how to turn a website visitor into someone who's actually interested in buying your products and services. So if you're interested in that, make sure you go and download the formula again, completely free. But a huge shout out to Zyro again, all of the information will be in the description down below. So make sure you go and check them out. And if you did enjoy this video, then make sure you click the like button down below and share this video with a friend. If you have any additional questions or comments, then leave them for me in the comment section but until next time, watch some of my other great videos. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for more awesome business related content. Have a great day, download the formula and I will see you soon.